There is so much awful Instagram advice out there and following this awful advice could be the exact reason that you're not growing and why you believe the algorithm hates you. So what I'm going to do for you is outline this bad advice, explain to you why it's bad and what you should be doing instead to actually achieve your goals on Instagram this year and moving forward. So let's get into it. So the first piece of outdated advice is to not post photos or static images. Yes, reels are still a massive priority and they still absolutely can go viral, but the head of Instagram has come out publicly and said that photos will get pushed as well. And they actually said they were pushing reels too much and photos not enough. So they've leveled that out quite a bit, which means that you should be posting static images again. And you always really should have been because they are another tool in your tool belt to connect with your fans or followers in a different way. You shouldn't only be posting reels or viral type content because naturally the only kind of content that will really go viral is very surface level stuff. So to build more of a connection or share more of your expertise, you're gonna need different tools and different kinds of content to share that with the people that follow you. Really, that's the only way to nurture casual people that visit your profile into followers, into fans, and then eventually into customers. If all you're pumping out is viral based content, you can get visitors and maybe even followers, but it usually is going to stop there. So stop avoiding posting static feed content and make it more of a priority. Once again, the head of Instagram is telling you to do so. The second piece of brutal advice is a bunch of different things that I call the obvious no-nos. And you'd think in 2023, I wouldn't have to talk about this stuff, but I know if I don't mention it, people are going to complain saying that, oh, well, it must be good advice if it wasn't included in this video. And it is absolutely not good advice. These things are horrible ideas, but people still say to do them. So I felt obligated to include them in here and group them all together. These are the obvious no-nos. Engagement pods or groups, these are a god awful idea. So basically for anyone who's unaware, what an engagement group is, is a group of people that all get into either a group message on Instagram, WhatsApp, Telegram, whatever. And whenever somebody posts, they go into that group and share the link to it so everyone can go engage with it right away. In theory, this sounds great because you get a ton of a quick engagement, but it is awful for your account because it doesn't help Instagram determine who your audience actually is. And it's not real and authentic engagement, which Instagram wants and needs to do its job most effectively of bringing the right people to you. So this once worked like crazy. It does not at all anymore. So if anybody reaches out to you suggesting to join an engagement pod, do not do it. The next obvious no-no is follow for follow or like for like. These are outdated strategies that just don't work. The next is spam tagging people either in your comments or actually on your content. I don't know why people do this, but they still do. I get tagged in stuff all the time. And honestly, it just frustrates me. So if you are trying to get my attention, that is a terrible way of doing it. So stop doing that is awful advice. Avoid spam commenting. So just mass commenting BS or emojis on things is an awful idea. Use comments and be genuine but never do spam commenting. Very bad look, awful advice, and you can get hit with an action block for doing that as well. So avoid that obvious no-no. You wanna avoid using bots or any sort of automated software that does actions for you on your behalf, with the exception being post scheduler. So for example, Flick scheduling tool, it's approved by Facebook, so that's never gonna harm your account, but anything that is liking, commenting, or mass following people for you, is what would be considered a bot and it's against Instagram's terms of service and it is a terrible idea. Do not use those. Instagram will not like you and your account will not grow. And the final bow on the obvious no-nos is just avoid anything really spammy. If you have to even think slightly, is this spammy? It is, okay? So don't do that. It is an obvious no-no. Show up consistently and authentically. And if it's not authentic in any way, shape or form, don't do it, all right? So I said it, I covered them. Don't do this advice. It is so outdated, but I said it so you can't say I didn't. On to the next one. The next terrible advice is pinning your most viral content to the top of your profile. Instagram recently gave us the feature to pin content to the top of our profile. And this is an awesome opportunity for you to really nurture people that are just visiting your profile because that's who's seeing this content. It's people who are finding you for the first time and figuring out if they do want to follow you and what you're all about. So a lot of people make the mistake of just pinning their most viral piece of content as a form of social proof. And here's why that's a bad idea. Chances are if a post gone viral, a lot of the people who are visiting your profile are already going to have seen it. So it's not actually helping you convert them from a viewer into a follower. 
Instead, what you want to do with these pinned pieces of content is really highlight your most valuable pieces of content. What can you show them that's going to provide them a ton of value to make it extremely likely that they follow you so you can nurture that relationship further to then turn them into a fan and a customer? That's what you want to think about. Be strategic with this. Understand the pathway that brought them there and use content that can help them get to the next step with you. And just pinning a viral post is really a waste of space because they've probably already seen it. So be a little more strategic. It's going to really help improve your conversion rate of profile visitors into followers, which is massive for the long-term growth of your page. The next piece of outdated advice, which I still see people stressing over like crazy, is having an aesthetic grid on Instagram. I can't tell you how little this really matters. And so many people focus on this over the quality of individual pieces of content. They care more about what the post looks like beside the other post rather than what the post actually is. And this is so silly and just such a waste of time. If you're a super visual person or maybe you're selling some sort of visual based service or product, then sure, if you can do it, it's not gonna take a ton of time, but think about your own use of Instagram. How many pages are you following because of the aesthetic of their feed? You're just not, you're following it based on the content that you see when it's shown to you. So focus more on the value of the content and the message that people receive when they do visit your profile rather than the aesthetic of your grid. It's not that important, but if you're really obsessed with it, make sure you're never compromising on quality post over post to maintain that look. You're only hurting yourself from doing that. But but for all those people who are obsessed with the aesthetic, Flick's scheduling tool actually has a built-in grid preview feature. So you can schedule out your content and see what it would look like in your grid for those of you that are still obsessed with that. But understand it is not a priority. It's not gonna help you grow in the vast majority of cases. So don't waste too much time on it. Put that time back into creating better content and more content. Also, if you're looking for current good advice that's actually working. This channel is for you. I post weekly free content to help you grow on social media more effectively. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. I can help you crush it. Now onto the fifth piece of outdated advice that you should absolutely not be doing. And that is the whole new post or teasing your new piece of content on your story. And this one may shock a lot of people because almost everyone does this, but here is why it is outdated and bad advice. The more that you do this, the more that you will fatigue your audience to skip your stories. If all you're doing is putting up your post, which they've probably already seen, and hiding it with a little new post sticker, they're gonna become accustomed to skipping through your stories because the people that are seeing your stories are your most core followers. So they're already going to see that post. You don't need to tell them that you've posted. They've already seen it. And if you condition them to constantly skip over your stories, Instagram is tracking that. And so the more they do that, the less likely they are to see your stories. So don't annoy them by showing people content they've already seen. It really defeats the purpose that you're trying to achieve. Instead, keep your story a separate point of value, a means of deeper connection and really being personal and use it to be authentic and build connection with your audience, taking advantage of what it's great at, that short, instant connection with the people that want it most. Because the people that see your stories are your top 10% typically of your followers. So these are your core people. They're already seeing your content. So don't shove it in their face again. Instead, provide unique value deepen that relationship and make sure to provide a unique experience with your story. So every time that you do post one, they actually take the time to watch it and watch it all the way through rather than just skip through them. Because the more time that is spent on your stories and the more engagement you receive on those stories, the more of your overall followers will see your stories in the first place. So you do wanna be thoughtful about what you're putting on there. You don't wanna just spam it because then people will stop paying attention and it will only hurt your account. So stop doing that bad and outdated advice. Simply stopping doing those will help you grow on Instagram. But if you want to supercharge your growth, watch this video right here where I walk through how you can make the Instagram algorithm work for you and push your content like crazy to the right people to help you grow extremely quickly. So watch this video right here and you'll grow way faster. I'll see you there. Peace.